Hello everyone, welcome back to my Fosa Academy YouTube channel. And in this lesson, we are going to talk the grid view in Flutter. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, uh, feel free to hit that subscribe button. And also if you like my video, uh, please thumbs up my video. Uh, I will be really appreciate. So uh, without further ado, let's get started. Let's go back to the Visual Studio Code and also open our Android emulator. So here I have, here I already connect with my emulator in Visual Studio Code. Uh, as you can see here, uh, this is a wide uh, scale for uh, with this text widget, uh, which is a grid view widget. So we will coding along this point. And first we're going to create a Great view, right? So probably I will I need to remove this center widget and I will using grid view. Uh, inside the grid view, uh, we have uh, two uh, name constructor. So first is this uh, grid view dot count. Another is this grid view dot builder, right? So we using this name constructor. Uh, if we have uh, the dynamic data I want to uh, render in this uh, screen. So first I will just use this uh, grid, uh, grid view.com to uh, display the fixed uh, grid. Okay, back to Visual Studio Code. So here we're using a uh, grid view.count. So uh, in this one, uh, so we need to specify this uh, crossy access count. So by default, uh, it is a vertical uh, display. So when you move your mouse, you see the default value for this uh, scroll uh, direction is the axis vertical. So it means uh, you will be display this grade uh, vertically. So you need to specify how many grade uh, you want to display. So I think uh, so for here, I just set to two. So this means I want to display a uh, two grade uh, Here I set this cross axis count to two, uh, means I want to display two grades per row, right? And also I will probably uh, fill out it is trial, uh, it's children uh, attribute. So uh, probably I will render like a sex colon. Uh, I would give the color. So you can see, and probably I would like Probably would be a hundred, and also I just copy and paste this code. In. Probably I will display six, but I would like to three hundred, four hundred, five hundred, and six hundred. Okay, let's save the code. Yeah, you see here we display uh those. A uh, sex grade right and two per colon right. So if you change this, uh, cross the axis count to three, so you will see we will display three a uh, grade per row right. As you see here right. So we change back to two. Also, if we change back to one, so we will see one grade per row right, and it will be scorable. So we change back to two. Uh, maybe I can increase more so we can make it scorable. So this would be seven hundred and this would be eight hundred and we save it. Yeah, this would be scroll right because scroll uh, vertically. So you mean uh, as you see here we have a scroll direction and we can change to a horizontal. And by default, uh, it's uh, access vertical, so it means uh, it will occupy the in the parent's entire width, right? And here we didn't specify the width of each. Uh, container, and so try, let me trying to specify it this way. So probably we give high five hundred, will be, but it didn't take any effect. You see, we save it. It didn't change anything. 
probably will increase to a thousand five hundred. Yeah, it didn't still have any change. So let's try to uh declare these to horizontal. So we say you see our grade will be and now horizontal, right? And as you see, if we this uh make this scroll direction to horizontal, and it default you will occupy the in appearance entire height, right? So you see here you will occupy this entire height of this parent right? scaffold, which is this whole screen, and you see, so this crossy axis count B two means. Uh, this if we make it horizontal, the cre uh, the crossy is those two. So if we make it vertical, crossy x count will be count per row. But if you make it horizontal, the crossy x x count will be a per column. Okay, so let's change it back to the normal one. It will be uh, vertically, right? This one. Okay, let's continue. So. It has uh, the pending uh, padding attribute in this grid view dot com. So we back to visual studio. Uh, we can give it some kind of padding. Uh, wrap with this whole grid view. So we could use edge inset. We could use dot all. Probably I'll give a. So when I save, you see this entire grid uh, took uh. Eight padding. Okay, I probably need wrap this grid view with safe area, so so I save. You see, this grid view will start for uh, under this uh a toolbar, right? So if I give the padding, so it will be top, right, right, left, and bottom. Okay, so back to our agenda, and also we can give uh, it is a reverse to set to two, so you the trial will be in reverse order. So let me set to two. So when I save, you will see the dark color will show on the top. Okay, so let's comment now. And next attribute we're going to use is this main axis spacing. So, so when you specify this main axis spacing, oh, it really depends on uh, what's the scroll direction you are. So in this in this one, uh, we are in the vertical direction. So in the main uh, axis spacing will be uh, vertically. Right, so we probably give uh, it's double. So we probably give like ten. When I say, you see, because the main axis uh, is the uh, now we are vertical. So the main axis will be uh, inside each each row, between each row, right? Okay, so also they have a crossy axis spacing. So when I set to uh, 20, right, because a uh, main axis is a vertical and a crossing axis will be this horizontal. So you use, uh, we set this horizontal spa spacing to 20 and the vertical spacing to 10, right? Okay, next is this cross C cross axis count. Yeah, we already uh, introduced these. Okay, the next one we're going to talk about is this trial uh, expert ratio. So you may know this. We cannot set the height and weight, uh, the weight of this container, but the grid view uh, provide the attribute uh, which is called trial uh, expert ratio. So, because you see here is a, a square, right? Because the default ratio will be set to one. So I just change it to like a zero point eight. And I save it. You see, because this ratio will be calculated uh, by it is a 
weight divided by it is high. So if, uh, for example, if we change it to uh, 0 0.5, right, and also we change it to 2, and you will see what's different, right? You see. So we change back to 0 0.5. Yeah, this one looks a little bit long. Right, so probably those the attribute we are going to use most often in our work. So next I'm going to show you how you can use this grid view builder to uh, probably put your dynamic data. Okay, go back to uh, Visual Studio Code. So we probably will use still using uh, the code we wrote here. But, but before I would like to define a list of color. And it would be a array, probably in the array, and you calculate like from 100, 200, 300, 400, and 700, uh, 600, and 700, 800, and 900. Okay, so we probably will use the data from this list to dynamic render our. Uh, Great container. Okay, so let's remove anything uh, from uh, this set safe area. So we'll create the grid view again, but with, this time we're using the builder, right? You see, if we choose to use the grid view dot builder, so there are two things we need to uh, require to pass it. So first one is this grid uh, delegate. Another one would be this item builder. So this item builder uh, probably would take the context and also index. And we need to pass. Okay. And also I think we need to pass it is I, uh, item count would be a color then. So inside is a uh, grid delegate. So we need to pass those two class. The first one is sliver grid uh, delegate with fixed cross axis count. So in this one, you will specify like uh, uh, how many uh, grid per row. If uh, it is the if uh, it is uh, direction is vertical. Right, so it's probably the same with this grid.com, grid.view.com, but it's this this would be a dynamic uh, render your data. So here uh, we could use the first one again, and I will introduce the second uh, uh, class as well. But first we use the first one. Uh, we will pass this uh, Steve grid uh, delegate with fix. Uh, cross access count. So here it requires this cross access count. So we probably will give the two as well. Inside this one, and uh, we were going to uh, pass. First, we need to get these uh, color. Oh, I think we don't need to store. Okay, we can we can define a uh, color would be. Using this index, we can get the color, right? So the color would be integer, and we will return the container. And also, the color will assign to the color we have. All right, so amber, and I think that's it. So we save and we go back to you see, we still get the same grid view as before. But this time we're using the dynamic data to render our grid view, right? And if we change this crossy axis count to three, so you will see the we will display three grid uh, per row, right? And we change back to two. Okay. So and another one I'm going to talk is this one: sliver grid delegate with max cross uh axis extends. So this one you can use a 
So you can specify the max uh, extents you want you uh, specify. For example, you specify like a 400 uh, 400 width. So uh, depends on the uh, platform you display this grid. If you if you are in a desktop, so you have a wider screen. Uh, for example, the wide of your screen would be uh, 1,200. So you will probably display a uh, three grid right per row. But if in your this mobile, probably the screens would be smaller. So you probably will display like a uh, two grid per row, or even smaller screen will be. Uh, one grade per row. Let's change our code to use this constructor. So here we change this uh, class to uh, what we have now, and we probably need to implement it is max crossy axis extends. So we change to uh, 400 and we save it. So you'll see we only get these uh, one grade per row, right? Uh, probably if we change to uh, 200, we'll have uh, these uh, two grade per row, yeah. So it really depends on what kind of platform you are using. So you will render different uh, grade per row, right? Okay, I think that's for uh, today's video and I hope you have a clear uh, understand of the basic the those basic concept of this grid view. Another uh, thing you need to not uh, notice is that those attributes uh, such as these uh, main uh, main access spacing, cross access spacing, and also child as as by ratio would be uh, inside these a uh, silver grid dedicate. Uh, with max crossy access extent, so you see those attributes will inside this class, so you can now write uh, these main x access spacing outside this class, right? So if you're trying to write uh, your spacing in here, you probably will give you some kind of error, right? So you must uh, write those spacing and s s bay ratio inside this uh, sliver grade dedicate class, right? Okay, I hope this video uh, will uh, help you uh, when you uh, use this uh, grid view in the future. Okay, thanks for watching. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will uh, probably continue uploading the latest uh, a tutorial for Flutter. And as well, I will continue working on uh, my another series called Flutter UI Tutorial. Okay. Thanks for watching. See you next time.